looks a bit creepy, doesn't it? I'm just like staring like, hey. My first ever attempt at doing dips. This feels like a lifetime ago. It was just at the turn going from 2020 to 2021 and you can see I'm not getting the depth at all here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm doing it correctly, but I remember looking back at the video thinking, oh wow, I've got a long way to go. At the beginning of my uh, dips journey, or even now, um, if I do find them hard on some days or when I found them hard at the beginning, why didn't I just do like modified dips? Like, um, you know, the one where you're uh, leaning behind on an elevated surface and, and doing dips that way. Oh, I hate these things. You know, those things that clothes have. Forgot to rip them out, it's a, it's a new top, don't judge me. But in all honesty, um, I tried them and I, I just didn't like them. The ones that you do that, I think they're like this. And like, you can make them harder by like stretching your legs out like that. It hurts my shoulder a little bit and they just look weird and I don't like them. So uh, moral of the story is, um, do the exercises you like, you're bound to find something in movement that you enjoy. Now I really wanted to get better at dips, so I did the progressive exercises that I wanted to and not that stuff. I decided to jump at the deep end. Obviously I couldn't do the dip properly when I started, but that's why you can do the modified with the bands and um, even doing the negatives. So jump up and practice going down, landing on your feet if you can't go back up again. Down. Use your leg to catch yourself up and back up again. Down, catch yourself. So, you know, there's, there is always modifications of exercises that you can do. I made sure I used bands. I placed the band under my hands um, and then kneel onto the, um, the band. And then that gives me a little bit of extra push. This is where things started to get really ugly. So to get more depth, as you can see here, I'm really pushing my chest and everything I've got outwards, giving myself really horrendous form. No, I'm just short, just... I know, I can't see. That was good. Do not make the same mistake as me. This is why I've made this video. You can see to get a bit more depth, I'm really sticking my chest out and my form is completely off. Single bar dips, this was my first ever attempt at the ice rink, were a no-go, but trying my best here. I actually think these look better than my parallel bar dips at this point um, and it just gets worse to worse I'm cringing a little bit watching this I'm completely off piste here wobbling about everywhere even at home now with the p-bars a little bit closer together I'm still struggling forward and then down like this is it and up although maybe I'm not strong enough I tend to Go down. <clears throat> oh, is that better? That one. Not the third time I'll go down. Maybe because as I feel weaker, I tend to arch my back. Oh, I commonly do this when I'm doing this. <laughs> I try and distribute my weight so that I almost overcompensate by having an arched back, a bit like an ogre. Mm. Then lock my legs because I can touch the ground on the negative and dip all the way down. That's not that comfortable when I'm looking at the camera. But all the way down and lean forward. Um, I do try and keep as straight as I can. But for some reason they tend to be easier on the joints, or at least I found personally, when I lean forward and do the dip. So like this, as opposed to this. I keep my sunglasses here because sometimes the sun shines through the window and I, I put these on. And I can do some good old people watching like this. So I'm clearly aware of what I'm doing wrong, but I just, I'm struggling to put it into practice. 
I am determined to get these dips. I even tried doing a dip on the rings, which is a bit of a madness because rings are not my friend. You need really, really good stabilization there because you're going all over the place. So I attempt to do a dip here. I'm going down and I'm, nope, nope. I don't think I can do it. But I try again with Rahel's enthusiasm and I've got some bands to keep me upright and I managed to get two or three really wobbly ones. Rahel's telling me to stabilize my core here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Then. So you don't want to drop between your shoulders. <laughs> Those are good deep dips. Yeah, that's good. Well done. It is now winter and I'm overcompensating for my bad form. So you can see here, I put myself in the correct position and then I drive myself down and you can already see they look a bit cleaner. I've got myself into the habit now of like overarching and then I drive myself down like you can see in Costa Rica here. I'm swinging like no tomorrow, like the pendulum of a clock. I practice my single dips from time to time alongside my normal dips and I just target little things one by one. So for example, the swinging that you saw in the last clip, I'm trying to stabilize my core a little bit more to avoid that swinging that's very obvious from practicing in the past. Sometimes when I'm practicing dips, either single bar or parallel bars, I focus on different things. Here, it's more about endurance, so how many reps I can do with the best form to my ability. When I get a bit tired, I sort of just hang. Sometimes dips are slow, sometimes dips are fast. I like mixing it up, you know, keeping it fresh. There's absolutely no hiding that I literally just woke up and went from my bed straight to the dip bar. I mean, look at my face. <laughs> Tells a whole story in itself. Oh, someone's shouting outside. What's that? What's that? Oh, okay. He's saying um, if everybody could like and subscribe, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> um, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe. Obviously, these are not dips, but this is me just having a bit of fun with the P-Bars I have at home. I'm getting a bit more confident in dips and trying to include them into little routines like you can see here. I'll do a dip, I'll then hold an L-sit, kick my legs out, you know, just having fun with it, almost choreographing a little dance on the P-Bars. Okay, so you're here. Yeah, straight to your chest. Boom. Is that yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. And lower. That's good, no, that's good. Boom. Getting hyped up a bit there by some guys in the calisthenics parks. But just to show you, I am still practicing my single bar dips alongside my normal dips and they need a lot more help. I thought my elbows were tucked in, but they are so flared out. This is why it's so important to film yourself. And you can see me here doing them fast and doing them slow. Elbows are still wide open <laughs> horizontally. But, um, you know, watch this space. I'll come back to single bar dips. But in the meantime, I think my dips are getting a lot better, a lot stronger. Including weighted dips into my 
workouts has been helping me. I'm taking a really long time to recover from them um, just because uh, this place over here feels quite sore. So if anyone has any tips and is a connoisseur in dips, then um, all advice and tips welcome. But for now, I think I'll just carry on um, doing my weighted dips like my weighted pull-ups and hopefully they can improve in time. The thing is with pull-ups, I always compare dips and pull-ups because they, they seem quite um, analogous to each other. With pull-ups, it's very obvious if you like if you're doing a pull-up the wrong way. So full extension, the bottom of the pull-up, and you count it as a pull-up if your chin goes um, over the bar, for example. But with dips, um, <laughs> you can sort of bit, look a bit like a wiggly worm and still sort of count it. Some people are gonna say that your form is completely off. Some people are gonna say it's not a proper dip till your shoulder is literally touching the bar, something like this. I don't think I can do those, but like a really over-exaggerated dip. So like where you're, you're up like this, and you go all the way down. <clears throat> See, my shoulder didn't even touch then. Ooh. Being able to um, be fortunate enough to have a bar such as these at home has been super useful, but also because I can make them narrower. So for example, you can see here, I've got them about shoulder width apart. Whereas sometimes I find in like the calisthenics places, they're literally this. They're literally like this. Like how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to dip like this, guys? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I can like pull them together. I don't even have them so they're touching. So you can see, slightly, well I guess slightly wider than shot my shoulder width. So basically that's where I am at now. Um, I'm hoping to continue this and make dips more of a priority so we can make a second round of this video and, uh, and hopefully compare because there'll be such a big comparison. You won't even believe I started where I started from. But um, I hope that's useful for anyone who has looked at dips, considered dips, is dipping, is dipping at the moment, is dipping with weights, is doing far more advanced things that um, Nailing your fundamentals like pull-ups and dips is a must and I need to prioritise it and also um, clean these glasses. <laughs>